Welcome everybody. I'm super excited to be here. My name is Deborah Swikowski. I am a business development manager for the Florida SBDC Small Business Development Center at Pinellas County Economic Development. Today I'm here to talk to you about implementing your COVID Resiliency Business Action Plan. This past year, our team from the Florida SBDC at Pinellas County Economic Development assisted business owners who had applied for the Pinellas CARES grant with implementing their COVID resiliency business action plan. We had designed a simple resiliency plan to help clients review their resilience and plan for sustainability. We discussed their current situation as well as what their action plans were, ways that they can overcome obstacles and how to look for opportunities. So what is business resiliency? Business resiliency is the ability for a business to act quickly, to adapt and implement changes during disruptions. Here you're gonna safeguard, safeguard your business, your staff, customers, and assets, and to main business continuity. So the things we're gonna to discuss today are ways in which you can safeguard your business, your staff, and your customers. Cash management, price and cost containment, supply chain management, and marketing. Typically when I'm having this conversation with my customers, or my clients, I'm sorry, this conversation would be approximately 45 minutes to an hour. So again, this is just an overview and a summary. So things I want you to think about as a business owner when safeguarding your business staff and customers. Things are changing very quickly and CDC regulations and guidelines are changing, it seems, on a daily basis. So here, most importantly, follow those guidelines. Do what is best for you, your business, your staff, and your customer. You wanna make sure that you're sharing with your customers what your current safety measures are. Do you plan on still continuing to wear masks or sanitizing clean areas? Do you provide contactless deliveries, pickup and takeout? And is this something that you plan on continuing moving forward? Some people may find that this is something that they really do prefer and it may suit the needs of your customers. So again, find out if that is working and assess that situation. Also, you wanna make sure that you have updated your social media. Here, last year, a lot of businesses, um, once they were able to reopen, they had changed their hours of operation. They had changed the services that they were offering. Um, so here, you wanna make sure that what you are currently doing is up to date on all of your social media platforms. And finally, have that wellness check for your employees. It has no doubt been a very stressful time for all. So have that conversation with your employees. See how they're doing. Have that open line of communication. Let them know if they need anything or just want to have a conversation with you. Again, do they need flexible hours or that modified workspace so that they feel safe? The next action plan I want to talk to you about is for cash management. Things I want you to think about is having that open line of communication with your vendors. Here's a great opportunity for you to re renegotiate those terms. Do you maybe need a longer or extended um, payment plan? Can you, um, you know, think of ways including partial payments that may benefit you as the business owner. And then, you know, they're still able to sell those products um, to you. Here, you also want to review your finances. You want to monitor them daily, weekly, and assess money coming in and money coming out. Business is really starting to gain momentum right now. So understanding your finances 
and watching your money is extremely important right now. In addition, you want to take the time and review your receivables. Here, you want to make sure that you have policies in place, set new terms, um, especially with credit policies. If you have clients or customers who are slow pay, move them to COD. If you know it's a one-time situation and they explain it, then that's fine. But if this is something that is ongoing, you need to make sure that you're protecting yourself as that business owner. And now, more than ever, is a great, great time to negotiate existing loans. <clears throat> Excuse me, with interest rates at an all-time low. Here's the time for you to assess your finances. If you have term loans and you have the ability to refinance, then have that conversation with your banker. If you have a lot of debt and it is high interest rate debt, now is the time to consolidate that debt. So you want to have a great conversation with your banker. You want to continue to build that relationship with your bank. Let them know what your needs are, what your vision is for your business moving forward. And if you have not established credit for your business, now is a great opportunity and a great time for you to get that business credit card, as well as a business line of credit. It is peace of mind at, for a business owner to have a business line of credit sitting there for when you need it. In addition, you want to review your inventory. Sell anything that is unproductive or stale inventory. Here again, you know, take an assessment, look at everything. If you've got old equipment and you're not using it and you do not plan on using it, then get rid of it. The last thing any business owner wants to do is reduce labor. However, you are going to do what is best for your business. And as things get better, you can always hire new people. So in the next presentation slide we're going to talk about for action plan is for price and cost containment. Here you really want to focus on reducing your expenses, such as travel, entertainment, subscriptions, any fees that you are paying or any dues. Here you really want to check to see if they are generating any type of revenue. And maybe for a short period of time, you may want may not want to do those. Maybe, you know, revisit them in about another six months from now. In addition, you want to eliminate discounts, giveaways, and promotions. If your business is busy Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you don't want to be offering discounts at that time. So maybe consider if you're going to do a discount, look at what days are slower for you maybe Monday or Tuesday. So think about those promotions during that time frame. Reduce pricing and value, but don't cut prices in a panic. So if that client is working with you and you've just quoted out a job and they're trying to renegotiate that price, here you wanna stay firm on your price. Let them know that added value and maybe services that you're going to include with that. Negotiate terms with your vendors. Here again, you want to assess the situation, find out what they are currently offering. Do they have any current promotions or specials? Do they have products or services that may, or products that maybe somebody else um, couldn't uh, capitalize on and they're sitting on a lot of inventory? So again, reassess that and see what is currently going on with that. Always be a negotiator for a small business owner. At this time, again, I talked about this previously, no new hires. Even if the business is starting to pick up that momentum, um, you really wanna stay the course for the next couple of months. Delegate to current staff and you as the owner, <clears throat> excuse me, you as the owner, you know, help out what, when you can. Finally, negotiate rent and lease terms. I don't want you to go to your landlord and ask them for a reduction of rent. Here, 
What you want to do is talk to them about, you know, maybe extending, you know, out maybe a week. So here's an example. Your, your monthly rent is 2000 You typically pay it on the first or the second. What you can say to them is, you know, business is doing well, but maybe for the next three months, I want to know if I can pay half on the first and half on the 15th. You know, have that conversation with them and see what they say. The worst they can tell you is no. <clears throat> Excuse me. In addition, you can also sublease or co-share that workspace. So if you have a large warehouse or a large office area and you're not capitalizing on that space, see if somebody else may be interested in that area or space, and then you can generate additional income. So the next action plan I'm gonna to talk to you about is supply chain management. I know that there's been a lot of information that is out there and with, with supply chain interruptions. So here you wanna really know what your inventory is and you wanna look for items that may have a fast turnover or maybe an item that you're gonna get a really good deal on. Here you want to again, assess what your inventory is and eliminate any of those slow sellers. I mean, 90 days or more. If it's sitting on your shelf and you have a retail store or a product that you're selling and it's been beyond 90 days, it's time to assess and see if you can get rid of that. Look for suppliers that offer just in time. See what those options are for you. And most importantly, you want to build that rapport with your vendors with your suppliers, stay engaged with them. They're gonna let you know currently what is going on with your products and services, um, if they're having any interruptions on their end. And then adjust your operations, your hours and your services as needed. And then finally, we're gonna talk about an action plan for marketing. Here you wanna focus on reviewing your digital and online presence. You wanna make sure that you're updating your website, your business services, your hours of operation, and whether or not you've pivoted your business. You wanna make sure that you're talking about that. Here you also wanna take full advantage of social media, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. Make sure you're posting often and engaging. Talk about changes in business, your new items, and your new, your new services that you are currently offering, or maybe anything that might be trendy. Here, communication is key, and focus on building those relationships with your customers, because that leads to loyalty. In summary, business owners and entrepreneurs should be open to change. As hard as change is, transforming your business could truly set you apart from your competition and could be your competitive advantage. Things I want you to think about, be strong, be resilient, and be successful. Questions? Okay, I'm just checking to see if anybody has any questions. Deb, we have one in the chat. Um, why is updating social media important? Well, because first and foremost, if you have a client or a customer who just found you on their website and you may not have updated your hours of operation and they just drove a half hour and, you, and your business said that you opened at nine, on your website, but on when they actually got there, there was a note saying your hours are 11. So that customer may not come back to you. In addition to that, you really want to let your customers know if you've pivoted your businesses, your business, if you've added new products or new services for your business, especially with last year, a lot of businesses uh, eliminated some of their services. So now if you decided you want to add those services back, now is a great time to start talking about those. And keep that up to date, engage with those customers. It's all about brand 
branding and loyalty, and just getting your business name out there. Any other questions? We have about a minute. So um, is there a template to use at a staff meeting to review finances that you would recommend? Well, here's the thing you want to, you know, look at your, your, your um, overall um, accounting, seeing what program that you currently use, talk about the money that's coming in and out, have a balance sheet, have your spreadsheets, and always take the time to be reviewing those numbers. Um, and if you're not sure, here's a great opportunity to work with any one of the consultants from the Florida SBDC. All you have to go to is Florida SBDC, click on the link that says locations and find a consultant that is in your area. They'll be glad to you know, share whatever resources that they have with you, as well as different spreadsheets to help you to help your business grow and share that information with your team and your staff. Hopefully that answered your question. Again, I really honestly wanted to thank everybody who was able to attend the session today. I really want you to take the time, think about your business, think about what we talked about. And if you have any questions, reach out to the Florida SBDC. We are so excited to help small businesses. Um, most of the team and the, most of the consultants were business owners themselves. So they do understand the needs of small businesses. And we are so excited to be able to help any small business in any way that we possibly can. So thank you very much for attending my presentation. And I hope each and every one of you has a great day. Best to you all. Thank you. Thank you.